Welcome to Live It Up. With us in the studio is Lenny, and he is with Len Marks Photography. Hello, how Hello, are you? Hello, how are you? Welcome good, back. Good to be back. The set looks great. Thank you so much. Yeah, we decided to go with a little more cleaner, slicker, like sophisticated look. Like are you it. feeling it? I am. Feeling it? Absolutely. Um, now, we've worked together many times, and I know one of the things that you are, are so um, expert at is headshots. Yes. So tell us about yes. why people need an expert headshot. Well, in the business world, um, a great headshot is, is needed for LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever social media you're on. It's really the first thing that people look at um, and they judge you in as soon as they see your photo on your profile, people judge you. Um, and uh, for advertising purposes as well, again, people, people are unfortunately a little superficial. So they look at your photograph and they judge whether you are worthy of their business or not. So as time goes on, we are doing more and more executives, real estate professionals, and um, other business people who need a really good internet uh, or marketing uh, uh, profile photograph, and, and we're, we're doing that. Actors, um, obviously your headshot is, is, is your tool. If you, if you don't have a good headshot, again, you may be passed over, even if you're the most talented person in the room, if your headshot is, is not, doesn't live up to, to your, uh, your talent, then again, you might be passed over. So headshots are very critical. Now, don't they say that it's all in the eyes? Do you focus on gathering the right look from someone? Is that what Absolutely. it takes? Yeah, because I know that casting directors, sometimes they just take the headshots and they kind of sprinkle them around right. and they look for the eyes that pop out at them. Right. So um, how do you make someone's eyes pop out? What's your little secret? Ah, uh, secret. <laughs> um, lighting is, is key. It's, okay. it's everything. It's not, see, a good headshot is, is less about the gear and the equipment and more about the rapport between myself and, and my subject. So if you're looking into my eyes and we're having a, and we have good rapport, um, that's going to help. And then really, really good lighting, reflectors in the right place, and and and, and the proper proper angles of light really makes the eye sparkle. And then there's something I call special sauce, which is which is what <laughs> really? I do. Yeah, hmm. which is what I do in the end. I just enhance a little, little bit in in post production, and it gives the eye a little bit of a sparkle. But the formulas are trade secret. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so we'll keep that trade secret. Yeah. And what can someone, what can the subject do to prepare uh, to have an awesome headshot? You know, is it wardrobe, hair, makeup? Like, what can someone do? Is it relaxing right. your face? Like, right. what, what, it, what, what would you suggest some tips to help it be a more successful shoot for everyone? For a headshot, uh, wardrobe is, is the least of it because remember, it's a headshot. So okay. all you're going to see is a collar. You're not really going to see a lot, but, you know, darker colors, jewel tones, greens, blacks, grays, blues, um, but darker, so it, so your face is the brightest part of the photograph. Okay. Um, really great makeup, um, makeup that is, uh, it's, not, it's not glamour makeup, it's not stage makeup, it's very natural makeup, so it almost looks like you're not wearing makeup. Really great makeup artist is the key. Hmm. Um, hair as well, you know, okay. having, having the right hair. Um, all of these things put together are, is the formula that's, that's needed to, uh, to, to at least physically prepare yourself. And then music in the studio, um, great lighting, and really? good rapport between. You, you play a little bit of music so Absolutely. people can kind of get into the vibe? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, do you ask me ahead of time and say, do you like jazz? You know, I like do. What? <laughs> I do. I have SpongeBob on my phone for when I'm photographing kids. I right. Just, I put in SpongeBob and, and uh, that's good or whatever. I ask them what they like. And talking about actors, I heard you've been auditioning for some roles. What's happening with your with you in that in that regard? <laughs> quite in front of the camera. Yeah, quite unexpectedly. I was asked by a uh, by a, uh, a, t a talent uh, manager that is an associate of mine. And he said, let me have your headshot. I said, all right, what do they need? So I submitted my headshot, and, and uh, she said, they loved it. I said, well, what do they need? I thought maybe they needed a production photographer. I'm like, no, they need a photographer, but, but we're looking for him to be in front of the camera. I'm like, really? <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, so uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, I, oh. have an, I have an audition, my first audition. I'm, I'm really excited about it. It's going to open up a whole new world for me. Yeah, well, I would uh, say break a leg, you know, that's usually for dancers, yeah. but instead, you know, maybe break an elbow. So, uh, Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. And how can people reach out to you? Where can they find you? They can find me at uh, landmarksphoto.com. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Landmarks Photography. Um, and that's, that's, 
There you go. Or, or at a big shoot near you, right? Big somebody shoot. somebody will see you out in the shoot. Exactly. We were just at the Long Beach International Film yes, uh, Festival. Yes, that was a lot of fun. Great event. Saw you snapping away. Great event. So, yeah. nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Donna. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. Hope that you got some great tips on photography.